Hey guys, I want to encourage you guys to get yourself a therapist. I just had an 8 a.m. therapy session because I needed it, y'all. So I came early. I usually have them around like 10, which went like 11 and 1 o'clock. But this was the only opening she had. And so I got myself up in there. And let me tell you, I feel so much better. Um, so, yeah, if you've ever been on the fence about like getting therapy, um, well, it's like just having a friend to listen to you, to help you see, you know, the situation clearly, to validate you, to vindicate you, to help you heal and walk through life. No, it doesn't solve your problem, but if you let it, it will literally help you to heal and assist you in healing faster. Because if you've been through any kind of toxic situations or things that you need to heal from, there's a lot that you deal with. A lot of negative thoughts, a lot of wrong thoughts, um, wrong self, self talk. And so you need a way to combat that and navigate that that'll help you reframe your thoughts, reframe the way you view your life, the way you review, the way that you see your mistakes, your relationships and yourself. And so that's what my therapist does for me. And I love her. I love her. I love her. I love her. I've um, been with her for almost four years. No, actually four years, literally, because I was pregnant with Noah, who was about to be four at the end of the month. And yeah, so yeah, I knew I needed that um, support. I was a single mom. I was separated from my husband. Going to be a single mom of seven kids, y'all. Yes, seven children. Um, and so I knew I needed a way to like be positive, to stay in a healthy place for myself and my children because I was going through so much, had already been through so much and more was added on top of it. And so it was really helped me to just validate who I am, my choices, and to really let me know that I'm not doing as bad as I thought that I was doing. Because sometimes you'll just be like, man, I just messed up in life. I'm doing so bad. Oh my goodness. You know, or just like you'll beat yourself up because of the things that you've been through and the things that other people have done to you. And you will take the place of the people who have hurt you and you will just keep on rehashing that man, you shouldn't have done this, man, this. And then the world will do that. Oh, you're a single mom. It's your fault. You should have picked that. Be quiet. Be quiet. Go sit yourself down because every person in this world has made mistakes and not everything is someone else's fault. So stop blaming them. Stop blaming the people who should be getting the comfort, who should be getting the congratulations of well done. You did good. You're still here. You, you stayed. You didn't leave your children. So in order to get to that place to where you can combat all the negativity from strangers, other people, yourself, you have to have something in place of that. And so for me, it's um, therapy. It's my relationship with God. And so if you have a good support system, that would be another thing. If you have good family and friends or, you know, I mean, you have to learn how to build a community. That's one thing I've learned. I knew I needed support, but I've never had support from my family. I've never had, excuse me, what I thought I needed and what I knew I needed to thrive, which was love and support and just, you know, the community. And so what I, I've learned, I learned that I had to create my own community and that that may look way different than what I ever thought it would be. It looks like having a, 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 a general doctor, a primary doctor. Yeah. A primary doctor so that when I was experiencing like a whole year and a half of going through chronic pain and dealing with what I finally realized was a gallbladder issue um, <clears throat> that I had somebody who knew knew me knew what was going on and knew how to support me and to make sure I was healthy and getting the test I need and the help I need and I finally had my surgery and thank God I'm not in 24 hour pain because like that's why I wasn't posting on YouTube for like a year and a half I was just going through so much um, not having the support of my family, so my 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 doctor. Because how many black people don't go, go? Just people, period. But people don't go to the doctor. But a lot of black people who my 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 community don't go to the doctor regularly or have a primary care physician. So my my doctor, my therapist. You know what I mean? Um, being able to my church community. 
you know, some friends that I might have. And, you know, it's okay if your community does not what is what you want to look like at the beginning. Even if you don't have the friends that you want to have, it takes time. So don't be down on yourself. Because literally, I have, like, one friend. And sometimes we don't talk for, like, six months. But she's still my friend. And so, like, yeah. And I have three sisters. One that I talk to more normally. But sometimes we don't talk for, like, a, we talk maybe, like, month to month. And sometimes we're talking every week. You know what I mean? So it may look different for you. But just work to do what is good for you on this channel i talk about self-love i'm going to start talking more about life health because i'm really into health and nutrition and all that stuff um and healing and it's all a part of each other and overcoming you know healing from bad relationships healing from you know whatever like i've struggled with emotional eating my whole life something i see my mom do and not to blame anyone, but like we have to realize that who we are as adult has been shaped by how we grew up and who we were around and the circumstances and situations. I said circumstances and situations. <laughs> circumstances and situations. Like it has been shaped by that. And so I see my mom. Every time she was upset, she would literally, you know the little Debbie cakes. You know the little Debbie cake. She loved the little honey buns. I can't stand this stuff now. She loved the honey buns and she loved those little brownies, okay? So she would always have them little brownies around. She would grab the little brownies and say, I'm depressed, I'm gonna eat. What was she doing? She was teaching me how to deal with trauma, how to deal with trouble, how to deal with sadness, how to deal with depression. Oh, you eat. That's how you solve problems. That's what you do when you're sad and you can't fix stuff. You just eat food. And literally, I never comprehended, I'm like, nobody's like, oh, that's how I deal with stuff. Let me put that in my bank so that when I'm older, I can struggle with food the rest of my life. No, but you know what? When I got older or through, through you know, when, through life, I ate food. And not realizing that that I had, you know, that had been transferred to me and taught to me, you know, unconsciously. And that's what I learned. And that was just my default. So even when I was younger, like I wasn't ever like really huge when I was younger, but you know, I was bigger than I wanted to be. But when I used to get home from school, that was like my comfort food. I used to go come home from school, give me a big old bean and cheese burrito, some Lipton soup. And I said this stuff was bad, but like I, my, my comfort was food. I did struggle when I was younger with an eating disorder. And I don't think I even shared that with my own mama. I did because my comfort was food. So yeah, we have to heal. We have to heal. From these things i'm gonna be talking more about these things because i know it's gonna help some other people heal so like this let's put he'll put heal in the comments y'all and i do uh i'm an author um i have a book a uh, book called love yourself first it's a series the love yourself uh series love yourself first series um, i'm gonna have that series i have the workbook i have the affirmation journal and i even have an online course that i that i released I haven't really shared it a lot on here because I just be thinking about a whole lot of other stuff. I'll be passionate talking about what I'm talking about, what I'm talking about, okay? But I, I, I finished that course. It's the Love Yourself First online course. And it just takes you, you don't have to read the book first to get to to um, to um do that, but it will help. It will help you learn how to heal from those toxic relationships, rebuild your self-esteem, and move forward. So we're not in these constant cycles of just being traumatized over and over, not knowing how to protect ourselves, not knowing how to move forward, not knowing like what, cause like for so long, I'm like, why is it me? It might, it feels like you're cursed when you're in bad relationship after bad relationship, you know, toxic family member, people who don't support you, don't love you. Like what's wrong with me? Why is my life like this? Why do I keep making these choices? Not realizing that your childhood shaped that, your mom, your dad is absent if it shaped that. And so you might have even been groomed to accepting bad relationships because that's what you've seen. Okay? Because that's what your mama did. That's what your auntie did. That's what your sister did. That's what your dad did. But it's time to stop all that, okay? So get you a therapist. Get yourself a therapist. You need to come up here and get one of these. A therapist. Remember that? But anyway. Anyway, guys, I love you guys. Get yourself a therapist. It's going to help you. If anything, it'll just give you someone to talk to. And I've been telling my mama to get therapy for years. She don't want to. She just want to keep on traumatizing everybody else. And she don't even, she thinks it's everybody else, but it's really her. So I'm sorry if you have people in your life who blame you for stuff that they really have done. 
because that's what my family is like. Not all of them. Some of them are really great people, but ooh, Jesus, get you some therapy and, and heal and grow and take the advice and stop traumatizing and hurting people. Okay? But I love y'all, and I will talk to you later. It's just 10 minutes. Watch it to the end if you can. Like it, share it, and get yourself a therapist, okay? And love yourself. Heal, read some good books, treat yourself right, and I love y'all.